Welcome to the channel. My name is Matias. Today we're going to talk about Deadpool issues 26 to 33, where we have this really interesting story arc where we get put into question if Wade Wilson is actually Wade Wilson in the first place. So without further ado, let's get into this. So in the first issue, we have Deadpool. He's back to being a mercenary. He's starting to take jobs that make him to be more of a good guy, but he does do some sketchy jobs on the side. He's still dealing with the guilt of having killed this intergalactic messiah that basically he's destroyed universal happiness in general, trying to defend free will. So because of this guilt he's dealing with, he starts seeing this woman in every one of his missions. She seems very familiar to him, but he just doesn't know who she is. Now things get so bad with this whole situation of seeing this lady all over the place that he actually decides to go to therapy. And he actually chooses to go to the best therapist within the Marvel Universe, Dr. Samson. No, he actually cheaps out and goes with Dr. Bong, a ex-Howard the Duck villain, I think. He has reformed and become a psychologist. But the thing is, his methods are pretty questionable. And he tells Wade, look, this lady's probably linked to some trauma in your past that you have deeply, deeply repressed. So what I recommend you is to get severely wrecked in a battle. Go find the meanest, baddest son of a gun out there and get your butt kicked. So what Wade does is go and pick a fight with Wolverine. So the idea is that the more physical punishment that Deadpool gets, the more repressed memories are going to come back to him. But the thing is, Wolverine's not cooperating. He doesn't want to fight Wade. So to get Wolverine to fight him, he actually punches Shadowcat in the face right in front of Logan. Logan obviously flips out. But the thing is that Wolverine is not at his Berserker rage yet. So Deadpool actually shoots one of Wolverine's friends almost kills him, and this just pushes Logan way over the edge. This obviously did not work at all, but at least Dr. Bong got a kick out of seeing Deadpool getting his ass kicked by Wolverine. So what happens is the visions of this woman get stronger and stronger with Wade, and then he's sent on this mission that leads him to cross paths with Bullseye. And what Deadpool discovers is that Bullseye has been contracted to kill the woman that he has seen all this time. And after Deadpool is able to rescue her, he actually drops the bomb telling us, the readers, that he has saved his long lost wife. So her name is Mercedes. And the thing is, we don't know what happened to her. Deadpool can't remember. She can't remember what happened to her herself. All she remembers is that she popped up in the city. All we know is that she seems to be undead. And she is immediately attacked by Black Talon, a character tied to zombies that was drawn to her energy. So now we have Deadpool out for answers and he starts an open war with the Hell House, the place where he would get all his Merc jobs because they seem to be tied to the return of Mercedes. Also with Lando, Luckman, and Lake. So what we discover through flashbacks is that Wade and Mercedes back in the day lived in Maine in this cabin. And they find this guy out in the woods. He's severely hurt. They take him in. Very similar to the origins of Wolverine. But the thing is, in this case, this guy that they rescue he ends up killing both of them. Something went terribly wrong. And it's set up to be that the person that they found was T-Ray. T-Ray was like the main villain to the Deadpool series that Joe Kelly was setting up. He is a really interesting character. And the thing is, obviously, we get the setup for the battle between Deadpool and T-Ray. But what we discover when we have this confrontation between both of these characters is that the guy that they rescue in the woods is not actually T-Ray. It was actually Deadpool. We discover that Mercedes is actually T-Ray's wife and that T-Ray is actually called Wade Wilson. And what happened is when they rescued Deadpool in the woods that day, they nurse him back to health. Deadpool falls in love with Mercedes. So we discover that Deadpool is actually called Jack and he was a mercenary. He had gone on one of these jobs. Things went south. That's how he got hurt and ended up in those woods. So he tries to take young T-Ray out of the picture, destroying this idyllic life that he had in Maine. And... He wasn't able to kill him and he accidentally kills Mercedes. This whole situation breaks Deadpool's mind. That's why he can't remember nothing prior to this. And he takes the name Wade Wilson for himself because he thinks that T-Ray is dead. But the thing is, obviously he survived and from this point on, he's going to be on a revenge trip. So in the heat of the battle, Deadpool actually tells Mercedes, look, I know I killed you. I ruined your idyllic life. But from that day on, I've been trying to be a better person with quotey fingers because it's Deadpool. But look, I did not bring you back from the grave to use you as a pawn for some really sick revenge trip and did not become this really evil person. 
I'm just saying. But the thing is, this sows some doubt into Mercedes. But she ends up going with T-Ray anyways. And as one last act, T-Ray launches a spell that brings back from the dead every single person Deadpool has killed during his life. And every single one of these guys obviously go after Deadpool. And Deadpool actually gets killed at the end of the story. He ends up with Lady Death. They have some quality time together because for those who don't know, Lady Death is in love with Deadpool. But obviously his healing factor brings it back to life. So I'm leaving this video here. Hope you guys liked it. See you guys next time. Bye.